We're here at Dallas Sunius number seven, the Canadian opposite. Dallas, tough weekend last weekend with Portugal. You came in and struggled a little bit offensively, but then tonight you were banging on all cylinders with Dustin Schneider. How was the connection tonight? And what did you do differently to get going out there? Uh, I think I slept better. I just didn't think about stuff as much during the day. You know what I mean? Got a good nap in there. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do what uh, an old vet taught me back in the day. Talk about 2004. Guy by the name of Paul Durden, a.k.a. Papa Diddy Pop. I don't know if you know him. Interesting stuff. Well, tell me, you've played in Korea. You know these guys. They know you. Why were they able to touch you out there? What was the difference? Well, I'll tell you what, Cotton. I think they were expecting a lot more out of me, like me to jump a lot higher and hit a lot harder than I was. But I was just trying to see where they were and put it where they weren't, not especially hard. You know what I mean? I was, I'm getting old. I'm like wily now. You know what I mean? We definitely saw a lot of shots out there. Did you have any advice for your teammates in terms of the blocking? Korea uses a strange service reception. They got a lot going on, a lot of motion with the offense. How did you help you know, Verhoof in the middle, Simak, recognizing what's coming at them? Well, we talked about it the whole game. Like that was the most we've communicated during a game. Like. We tried to take our time serving, so the guys at the net would have a chance to be like, I think that bro and that bro are going to do this or whatever. It's very confusing, but uh, we communicated the most we could, and that's what we did. Well, you guys handled it beautifully. Thank you very much, Dallas. We're going to throw it back upstairs to Charles. Thank you, Paul. Dallas.